Hello world, Shelly here, and I've got some brand new makeup here to play with, so I figured I'd sit down and do my first impressions and a couple second impressions with you guys based on the makeup looks that I like to do when it is 90 plus degrees outside and I know I'm gonna be out and sweating. You know, sometimes you just get to the point where you've sweat so much that you just have to wipe your face. So this is the kind of makeup I like to do when I know there's a chance that it's not gonna last. I don't want to have to deal with like heavy coverage foundation where you have to worry about wiping away a spot of it. This is, some of these are products that I wore on Saturday when I went to see Dave Matthews Band and that involves a few hours of tailgating and a whole lot of sweating out. I was in the lawn for this particular show. So I did wear a little bit of concealer, so I'm going to start with some of my Fiera concealer. Now, the trick when you're going to do one of these sort of really no makeup makeup looks is you don't want to go too much different than your skin tone with anything, whether it's foundation or concealer, because you want to be able to just give up and wipe your face off if you want to and not worry that you left behind makeup that's going to be obvious that you wiped away a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, wearing uh, Ziva's tail as my necklace today. I love this stuff. This Fiera concealer, still one of my favorites. Very highly rated when I reviewed it, and I still love it. Now, I don't wear a foundation on days like this, because I assume I'm going to get to the point where I just wipe my whole face off. Well, Jones Road has come out with something really cool for this purpose. It is a shimmering face oil. Now, of course, it's well suited for a Dave Matthews show. <laughs> show? What? What? Is, what? You've seen her do this lately. But the last time she didn't, didn't I hypothesize that she was doing it because my hair was dirty? I just washed my hair this morning, so my hair is totally clean. Okay, so that hypothesis is not going to pan out. So I used the Shimmer Face Oil as my base, and it's a little bit glowy, and it's a little bit bronzy, so it gives a little bit of color, and I'll take it up my nose, but it's not, you know what I'm saying, if you wipe it off, it's okay, which I did, and it was fine. So, oh gosh, you really gotta get your tail out of my ear. <laughs> on this side I thought it was a very good so I'm kind of putting it where I normally put my bronzer and up over the bridge of my nose and on my cheeks just for a little bit of color now I did not put any bronzer on my forehead when I went to the show because I wore my bangs down which I will put them down here as well well, that, see how it's, it's not glittery, it's just shimmery. It just gives you a little bit of reflect, like a highlight, but a little bit of bronzer tone to it as well. And uh, this is the shade. Look at me thinking that I could read something without Sherlock's help. Uh, Midas. So, bravo there. I like it. I like it, Picasso. Then for blush... I didn't want to go a whole lot of color. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Lip and Cheek color. And this is in the shade Rosy Romance. And this one doesn't have a ton of impact, this, this product. I tried it once before on this channel, but it's really good for a day like this when you just need a very subtle amount of color But I'm not a super fan of this shade anyway because it just doesn't pack enough punch and it's not as buildable as I would hope it would be. But it gives me a little color. It gives me just a, just a smidge of color. All right, I have another thing from Wet n Wild. This I just picked up. First impression here. It's the Date or Dominate uh, liquid highlighter. And... It just looked cute, so <laughs> so I got it. So I ordered it, and I'm expecting this to be like a traditional, you know, bling highlight. This one in the pictures was a 
like an opalescent pink reflect. Yeah, that's what it is. And actually, that blends out a little bit more subtly than I anticipated, which, in my opinion, is a good thing. It just makes it a little bit more wearable on an everyday basis. I try not to get any highlight up to the spot where the bags under my eyes like to form, just so that if they do form later in the day, I don't have highlight drawing attention to the puff of the bag under my eye. Mm -hmm. Now for eyes, I have from Jones Road as well, a single shadow. This is the, it's such a good name and now I can't think of what it is. It made so much sense to me. It's cause it's upside down, I can't read it. Just a sec, just a sec. That's the name of the shadow, which made me think like, oh, it's perfect for like, just getting like ready to go and out the door. I just wanna get a little bit going. I did not even prime my eyes for this purpose because I knew I was gonna be sweaty McSweaterson. And I just want a little bit of something something on my lids. And I do kind of take this into the crease. I know we wouldn't typically put shimmer in the crease, but I'm not really putting shimmer in the crease so much as I'm just kind of blending it into the crease. It's like so it blends and tapers out. I also have a liquid eyeshadow here, also from the Wet n Wild Date or Dominate. This was supposed to be a pink reflect as well. So let's try it out and see if we can get some inner corner fun going here. Since the Jones Road one is a little bit darker, it's a little bit of a peachy-ish shade. So let's keep this on the inner half and then just tap it into, mm. these two particular shades are not what I wore this weekend. So these are both first impressions. But I did something similar with the Essence Liquid Eyeshadow on Saturday. I'm gonna take a little bit to the inner corner there. There we go. I just want a little shimmer. Now, to be honest, TBH, I'm probably gonna grab a palette like my Alter Ego Mirage and go in and get one of these, one of these neutrals. Yeah, let's use Nirvana. I just, I have a hard time not putting color in my crease. I just, I need color in my crease because that hood just looks so big to me. And I need to make it recede just a little bit. This is my Sigma E25 brush. There we go. Just a little. I don't need dramatic color or anything. I just need to make that little poof of a hood look less poofy. And dark matte colors are gonna make it look less poofy. So I guess blending my shimmer didn't matter because I covered it up anyway. But if I wasn't gonna cover it up, it would have been useful. I'm just gonna take a little bit into my outer corner. Again, because that's the part of my lid that kind of poofs and looks hooded. All right, I guess I'm doing more of this than I, than my original plan, but I can't help myself. It always happens. It just gives a little bit of shape to things, you know? Just need a little bit of shape to things. <gasps> Thank you, Alter Ego. Okay, what next? Let's do, should I finish my eyes? I've got the Essence Play and Stay or Stay and Play gel liner. So we'll tight line with that. And for events where I expect to sweat a lot, when I'm gonna be outside for a long period of time and it's hot out in the summer, I like waterproof mascara. It is the only time I wear waterproof mascara because 
I struggle so much to get waterproof mascara off of my eyes. I feel like I do damage to my face. Like I literally feel like I hurt my wrinkles. Like I give myself wrinkles and I pull out my eyelashes. I just feel like it doesn't come off me easily and getting it off does damage. I just, I hurt myself every time. Uh, current favorite waterproof mascara is from Color Street. I like the brush. It's got a flat part. So the first thing I do is take the flat end and go to the roots of my lashes and lay down product there because there's like a little channel in the brush that's holding more product. And then I flip it over to the curved side that has the longer bristles and fan all the way through my eyelashes. And of course, as usual, I get it all over myself because that's what happens when I don't wear... It seems like any time I don't have dark eyeshadow on, well, I think I do this all the time, but when I have dark eyeshadow on, you can't tell that I got mascara all over myself. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. So I like to wear it waterproof when I know I'm gonna sweat. And I was sweating buckets this weekend and not a bit of it ended up on my face. No mascara whatsoever. Now, by the end of the night, I wiped all the rest of my makeup off, but my mascara was still holding strong. But actually, you can kind of tell that I still have a little bit of mascara on my lashes because I can't get it all washed off since Saturday. That is just me and waterproof mascara. We, we struggle. We struggle with washing the waterproof mascara off. Even with micellar water. Uh, I just live on the struggle bus. That's why my lashes are clumpy today because I still have mascara on that has been on since Saturday. I wash my face every day. It just doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. All right, now we gotta do some with these brows. So I've got the L'Oreal Brow Lamination up to 24 hours. Lamination seems to be the new trendy word with uh, brow products. Ooh, this is a first impression. Little angled brush. I like that it's a tiny little brush and that it's angled. That's kind of cool. This is a clear product. Now, you may know if you've been around for a minute that I have a lot of brow hair and it doesn't like to stay up. I need serious hold. So let's see if this has serious hold. We'll find out. I got the brows up, so I like to apply the product, whatever product it is for my brows. Get it in there, put everything in place, let the product dry just a smidge, and then I like to go back with a dry spoolie, not one that has more product on it, and do like the little hold it in place just to try and get things to stay. Now with these laminating products, most of the instructions usually say to like press it against your face to kind of glue your brows down in place. I don't usually do that because I am pressing them against my face with the brush, but that's what these little end, sometimes it's a comb, sometimes it's a just a flat spatula but I'll use the comb and I'll push them to my face and we'll see if they stay put. So they're, they're pressed against my skin. We'll see if they hold. Now when I'm gonna be out in the heat, I do not usually put any mascara on my lower lashes because my lower lashes touch my face and that is just an invitation for mascara to get all under my eyes and give me raccoon eyes. So I did not apply any on my lower lashes, as you saw, and uh, I'm not going to. So 
All right, all right. Some of my brow hairs are already falling down. Hold on, hold on. Get back up there. Get back up there. And this is where there are very few products that will hold my lashes or my brow hairs up. One of them is the e.l.f. Brow Lift, the gel version. That's not it. Where did it go? Is it missing? Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's missing. I will buy another one immediately. I don't see it here. I don't know where. Oh, there it is. This one. This one holds my brows. The other product that is currently holding my brows very well is the Maybelline Super Lock. And I think these two are the only two that I will say completely hold my brows in place. Now, the other two that I very much like, actually three. Do I have the third one here? No, this is not it. Somewhere. Elf has a brow lamination product that with that in the name. It's almost enough hold for me, but not quite. Uh, Jones Road Clear Brow Gel and the Lawless Tinted Brow Gel both do a really good job, but both I do still prefer to put some e.l.f. on top of it to hold it in place because these, these front brow pieces like to fall down. This one is borderline. They're falling down a little bit, but they're not falling completely down. So that's a maybe. I Right now, I would still say the Maybelline Brow Lock, if you're looking for drugstore, is going to be the winner. Or the e.l.f. Brow Lift. But see, if you what I really would love is the e.l.f. Brow Lift formula in a spoolie. So I don't have to have a totally separate spoolie situation going on. Forgot to mention that that Wet n Wild highlight also came with a mini sponge. Excuse me which I did not use. <sighs> what should I do for lips? Now I have to show you, this is the cutest thing. I think I'm, I'm gonna wear something else, but I've been wearing this a bunch. Look at the packaging on this. Pokemon and ColourPop, little collab going on. That is the packaging of the Pikachu lip balm, and it's one of those pH sensitive ones. It's really cool looking, and it just turns to like a pink a pH sensitive pink on your lips. So cute. There's also a Pokemon lip balm in a Pokeball. So cute. So cute. So cute. I love it. I also got the eyeshadow palette, which I've not played with yet. I think I'm going to do a whole video on a colorful look with that. So let's do some lip from Essence. I picked up the Electric Glow. This is a color changing lip oil from Essence. And these are just fun. I like them. Ooh, it tastes like watermelon. Mm. And usually these just turn some shade of pink based on the pH of your lips. This feels like a lip oil, not a lip gloss. So my sense is that it's going to sink into the lips quite quickly which also makes me think it might be a good candidate for putting a lip mask on top of it why don't we do that it's heavily fragranced i will say i can taste a lot of that fragrance mm. oh no i put my pokeball on crooked can't have that. Absolutely not. Oh, I'm gonna be so OCD about this. There we go. <laughs> Love things that trigger me into being totally compulsive like that. All right, let's get the bangs back down. And here we go. I know they look a little floofy because they were sticking up. But this would be my 90 degree day look when I'm gonna be outside and it's gonna be hot out and I might end up wiping my whole face off and that's fine. I usually don't wipe my eyes. Uh, but sometimes I have to wipe my eyelids because ever since I cut my hair short, I don't know what the deal is. Is it because my hair is short and there's not enough hair to hold sweat? I'm literally sweating into my eyeballs. Like whenever I'm 
sweating a lot, like outside doing work, vendor vents set up, you know, climbing many, 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 many flights of stairs to get to the very top of the back of the lawn at a Dave Matthews show. When I'm pouring sweat, it goes in my eyeballs. Not pleasant. Like, is it because my hair is allowing, like it's not holding enough sweat and so all the rest of the sweat comes on my face? I need to start wearing like those nice chunky bandanas that you can wear around your forehead. Yeah, cause I've been getting sweat in my eyeballs. So I have been at times wiping my actual eyelids because I'm sweating. Oh, I'm just liking, I'm just liking this whole, this whole look. What do you think? Great for summer, and you can wipe it off if you need to. If you end up getting sweaty McSweaterson like I am, it's good. Now, should I try this just to try it? Yeah, let's just try it. I wouldn't normally put this on if I was doing a look like this to go out into the world, but this is the Infallible 3 Second Setting Mist. 36 hour transfer, defies transfer. I really just wanna know. How fine is the mist and does it smell like crazy? Oh, whoa, that's a lot. But it was pretty fine. It smells like hairspray. Am I sure this is setting mist? It smells like hairspray. Ooh, mm, yeah, it smells like hairspray. It went on like dry apply. Like I felt it hit my face, but then it very quickly evaporated. It just pumps out a lot more product than I expected, but now I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. I'm not a huge fan of aerosol products in general, just for environmental purposes, but this says, maybe it would be a good for a day like today because I think it says sweat resistant. Okay, this says, our first setting spray that makes your makeup defy transfer. Locks in makeup wear up to 36 hours. Waterproof, sweat resistant, clothes resistant, like clothing resistant, smudge resistant, phone resistant, micro diffusing system, lightweight, non-sticky, won't mark or ruin makeup, natural finish. Well, looking in the mirror, I would say that sounds true. Maybe it would be something good to wear on a day like this when you're going out into the heat. I'm not going out into the heat today. I will say I also wore a lot of this on my arms. This stuff is so cute. Ah, Lottie London, Outer Banks, the gold multi-purpose dry oil for face, body, and hair. I've been putting it on my tattoos because it makes everything look shimmery and beautiful. There you have it. A little bit of a hot summer day makeup for you. What are you loving this summer? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Check me out on Patreon. I post some behind the scenes stuff over there. And as always, I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.